We are going to give one panel about those problems and what happened and the implications of the Yom Kippur War on the Israeli society and the relations between the Israeli society and uh, the army, the IDF. Because the Yom Kippur uh, War, the 73, was a debacle, as we call it, uh, whose results impacted on every significant social and political process in Israeli society. Beyond the military implications, the war was a sharp turning point in the relationship between the military security elite and wider Israeli society. Israeli society went through a democratization, we spoke about it yesterday, and it's good, democratization, process that weakened the resilience of the political military elite and launched a new stage of complex relationship between Israeli society and its military. The sweeping changes that occurred across the world during the late 20th century had broad and profound implication expressed principally in the disappearance of bipolar world. With the implosion of the Soviet Union and the Soviet bloc, the clear and pivotal significance for the Israeli state and security status is the hegemony of the American policy in the Middle East. The surprise coordinated attack by the armies of Egypt and Syria in the Yom Kippur War gave them a decisive victory, at least in the first days of the war. The Barlev Line fortified outpost along the Suez Canal that fell. 2,656 soldiers died. 6,000 injured, and hundreds were in the capture. The military could not handle the atmosphere of gloom, frustration, and anger that prevailed in the Israeli society after the war. The Yom Kippur was a catalyst of political, for political, social, economic processes that originated in the wake of Six-Day War. The earthquake of the Yom Kippur War did not lead to an in-depth serious discussion by the political establishment and parties of the real problems of the Israeli state and society. The protest movement that came out of the battlefield and the ranks of the combat soldiers not only failed to foment revolution and repair the polarization and divide in Israeli society, but actually deepened it. The Yom Kippur set off severe crisis of trust in the leadership of the state and military, and it is here the rupture began. The late 73, the IDF status had eroded and the establishment found itself in an unending war against its declining status in the public eyes. As many research studies show, the distance between the IDF Israeli society has increased. Military service is no longer a melting pot, as it was meant to be, but quite the opposite. The IDF itself, Human Resources Division, defined the new characteristic of the era and the operative implication of the, for the IDF. The first one, an eroded center of gravity of leadership, replacement of the elites. Second, new groups are entering the social political center. The third one, lack of agreement over national goals. There's no agreement. And a crumbling consensus. Transition from conflict between states to a conflict between communities. Resilience of the Israeli society, not army, society. And how we can go on. Israel, democratic state, in the middle of the Middle East, in the middle of the Arab Spring. Who knows what will be with this Arab Spring? And because of this, it's so important how the Israeli society will go on with strength and unifying and not going apart.